Hi everybody, welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. So glad you could stop by. Give just a second for everybody to, or for some people to find us, and let me pull it up on my computer so I can watch along. So, okay, is everybody having a good week so far? Mondays? Kind of a tough weekend for me. Lost somebody I knew to that nasty old virus. So it's kind of a, found out yesterday afternoon. So kind of a rough day today, but I'm so glad on a um, happy note to be here with all of you because this is my happy place and stamping and having a little bit of diversion. So I am, would, remember if you like what you see and you think your friends would like it, would you please share my video? And when you share, if you'd comment below so that I know you shared and you get a chance to win tonight's project. So I had quite a few new people share, I do appreciate it. And Dawn Leonard wins project the project from last week. And if you recall, we did a one sheet, one sheet wonder. Actually, we used two six by six sheets of paper and made four cards. So Dawn, I'm gonna send a couple of those cards out to you for sharing my video. I really do appreciate you supporting my small business and I support all of you too. So I have a really cute project tonight with everything going on with in healthcare and you know with this nasty old virus and things like that. Healthcare providers are really working their tails off. And it's tough. It's 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 scary out there, it really is. And I have a really cute card that I am going to show you how to put together that you could use as a thank you or a thinking of you or I appreciate you or something along that line. So I think we'll go ahead and get started and we will, and I'll show you what we're gonna work on. So I'm gonna move the camera up into the holder and we'll get going. Remember, if you like what you see tonight, please share and comment shared so that I know you shared and I might be sending the prod sending you tonight's project. So like I said, this is for our healthcare providers and these are really cute cards I found um, online. A demonstrator by, her business name was Suitably Stamped, did a video of these a couple of weeks ago and I thought they were probably the cutest scrub cards I'd seen. So she did a male and a female. This one is Gray Granite, Night and Navy, and Poppy Parade. And this one, which is what we're gonna make tonight, is Rococo Rose and Highland Heather. So I think we'll go ahead, we'll jump right into it. And um, I have to refresh my computer here. We'll jump right into it and I'll show you how to put this great card together. So, first of all, like I said, the base is Highland Heather. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and it's folded in half, just like that. And I don't know why this thing keeps freezing up here. Let me know if you're freezing up or not. Well, I guess I gotta open that up to be able to see. Okay. Okay, so, and that's our base, and make sure you use your bone folder so you get a nice crisp fold so it lays flat for you. So we're just gonna set this aside for right now. This right here, this is our the piece that's gonna make our scrub top. And like I said, this is Rococo Rose, and this is four by five and a quarter. It's the size of your basic mat on for your standard size card that we do. So if you have a front and a back, decide which one, because you're gonna write just a little bit on it. So I guess this will be my back side. 
of my card. So I said this was four inches wide and you're gonna put your ruler down and you're gonna find where the middle is, which is two inches and that's right there. And then you're gonna go one and a quarter inches from either either side and you're gonna make a mark there. So in this case, it's one and a quarter, it's two, and it's two and three quarters, okay? So those are your three marks. And then from your center mark, you're going to go down one and a half inches. I wanna make sure this is straight. Yep, looks like it. One and a half inches and make a mark there. Okay, then you're gonna connect these and this is where you're going to cut out for the neck of your scrubs. So hang on here. And like I said, this is going to be the back, so it's not going to make any difference if people see it or not. There you go. You know, and it doesn't have to be exact, but it's close enough. Okay, so then you're going to take your snips and just cut that out. So far, pretty simple, huh? So has everybody been getting extra crafting done? I've been doing cards. I put together my April paper pumpkin. I really like it. It is so cute. So, okay, the next thing we're going to do is take a pe scrap piece of Whisper White. And it just needs to be big enough to go across your V, okay? Then you're gonna take the one inch punch and you're gonna just punch a, the neck hole in it, okay? I think she used a little bit bigger punch. I don't have that one. I think she used like one and a quarter or it may, I think it was a retired one, but uh, this works just fine. Just like that, perfect. And then I'm going to attach that use my my Tombow liquid glue here. There we go. Put just a little bit there, a little bit there. And just line that up. I especially like the Tombow in this situation because you can move it and get it um, centered. There you go. It's one nice thing with the Tombow is it get, does give you just a few seconds to get something in position. And then I always look, I put it against a different color and see. But it looks like I did a pretty good job lining the top of that up. Okay, good. So the next thing we're going to take is two strips and these are a quarter inch long. Okay. Um, these were just, you know, scraps, so that makes it pretty easy. And we're going to lay the first one down like this. It doesn't make any difference if they're a little longer, actually. That's better than you can trim them off, okay? So we're going to adhere that with glue right down there. I'm just going to put a really fine line of glue right here. And I find in this case it's easier to put the glue on where you're attaching this because you are going to trim it off. This keep, keeps you from getting glue all over your project on, you know, like further down here or whatever. Okay. You're going to do the same with the other side. Whoops, and I just did what I said But anyway, okay, this is going to be fine. I can put another piece of glue in there if, or another drop of glue if I need to. Just kind of line that up right like that. Perfect. And then I'm just going to trim these so it looks like a nice mitered edge.
There we go, like that. See how I just trim that up? And then I'm gonna trim these back here. And you can see how I have glue on the back of that piece, so you just have to be careful it doesn't land someplace you don't want it to land when you're trimming it up. There you go. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna put the pocket down. This pocket is one and a quarter by one inch. Put that down you know, on the, you know, it doesn't make any difference exactly where it is, but just somewhere here on the breast pot, you know, on the breast part could, where it would go. And then you have another little piece, and this one's a an eighth of an inch wide. And you're going to do the very same thing that you did with the ones right here, with the strips right here. Just put a little bit. Oops, I got a little bit of glue right there. And then again, trim it off in place so you know you've got the exact right measurement. Boom. There you go. Easy as that. Simple, huh? Okay. And then we're going to take a white gel pen and just make little stitches along here to give it a little bit of of detail and I think this just really adds a lot to this card this little detail remember I don't know when that was the 80 or the 90s or the early 2000s when stitching faux stitching like this was really the trend I remember doing a lot of this by hand. But in this case, I think it works really well. I think it especially pops nicely on that blue blue one too. So. There you go. Oh, and we gotta do the pocket. Don't forget the pocket. I started out with a stitch on each side and then just kind of around the bottom and the top of that little piece that we added. There you go. And that's all there is to that. Super simple. Okay. So I think we'll go ahead and put this together, but I'm not going to put it on here until I have um, attached the card to itself, or to the card base. And I just used the thanks that's in this, here's a card, but you could use anything, you know, like um, any kind of a... Uh, You know, thank you, or you inspire me. Any any appropriate sentiment would work. You just have to adjust your. And for this, you know, for this sentiment, it is the smallest oval out of the layered oval dies. You know, the set of like what is it, sixteen or something like that? Okay. So we're going to attach this to the purple base. So thank you everybody for watching. Okay. And now I used some of the champagne foil and this little strip is a half inch wide and two and a half inches long whoops dropped it here and we're going to attach it to that attach this right here
then I'll cut the little banner in. So I decided to do it after I had, I put the sentiment on because sometimes I go a little deep with these and this way I was less apt to screw it up. So you just cut it up the center a little bit and then there you go. We do have a banner punch that would cut this, but this one's small enough that I think it's easy enough to get it even and don't really need the big punch. But it's there if you need it. Okay, And I'm just going to set this aside and we'll put it on once we attach to the card base. So the next thing is the stethoscope. And for the stethoscope, I used, I'll show you here, okay. These are the layering circle dies. And this is the one that I used to cut out the white. And then these are the, ne the next two bigger ones are the ones I used to cut out these to make the stethoscope. So I wanted to show you, I put them on a piece of paper, they just nestle in front of each other. This is just a piece of um, post-it note that I used the adhesive so they stayed in place and I ran it through my die cutting machine. So then when you take them out, like that, there's your base for that, look at that. And there's your oval. And there's your two dies. So you actually need two of these circles. So let me put these back on here so I don't lose them and set them over to the side. So you need, you'll need two of these circles to make the um, stethoscope. Wait, wait, okay. Maybe I had a bunch of extras, obviously. And so for, to make this part and this part, you're gonna take one of these. You know what, I want, for that part, I wanna make sure they're pretty even. I mean, if they're not exact, it's not a big deal, but for those two, I kinda of wanna get one that's a little more even. Out of the second circle, you're only gonna use a little bit, so that's one you could use a, a little um, oval that might not be quite so even. And you kind of just figure out where you want to put it here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is lay it right about here with the, like that. It's kind of dry. There's no right, there's no wrong. Put a little bit of adhesive on the back of that. Put this. Whoops, I'm getting a little glue all over. Let me get that. Hang on. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. I'm going to probably put it more like that. So that's good. I'll let he sit on the back of that. That's one thing with this Tombow, you don't need a lot. There you are. There's that. I'll get that adhesive. You know what I'll do right now? I'll do that right now. My adhesive eraser and just kind of, if you go in the direction, it gets that adhesive right off of there. There we go. And then I'm just going to trim the tops of those, of those strips off. You see where I'm going with this, don't you? Who'd have thought it? Yep, like I said, I can't take credit for this design. This was from Suitably Stamped, but I thought it was the cutest one I'd seen. So, then I'm going to take the other one, cut it in half too. And let's see, which one do I want to use? I'll use this piece right here for the other ear. Right about like... There. It's not an exact science, but 
Okay, I'm just going to use my use this to hold on to it since I'm it's a small piece. So help me avoid getting glue all over. And you just kind of tuck this. This works especially well because the end of the because with the pocket there, it's not completely down on the paper. Well, I didn't get it tucked under, but it butted right up against it, so just as good. Okay, there we go. Now, to make the diaphragm part of the stethoscope, yep, that's the proper name. That's called the diaphragm. Um, I am going to take the half inch circle punch and just punch out a circle. Duh, that's as easy as it gets there. Okay, put that off to the side. And then the other part is a circle. I don't know, this is just a normal um, business, you know, stationery store hole punch. I probably had that for 20 years, so I'm gonna use my you pick tool to pick that up. Put a little dab of glue on that. Put that on here. And then we'll give that just a second there to dry. Move it over. There we go. Perfect. Sometimes it takes just a little extra time to dry when it's on that champagne, on that foil paper. Like I said, I use champagne, you could have used silver. And then, you know, wherever you want this, right? I'm just gonna put it right about here. There you go. Okay, almost done with that. We just have the ear pieces. Now, when the lady was making it, she used a part of a punch that was retired. She used something from the Elephant Builder Punch, and I don't even have that. And I thought, what could I do to get that kind of a shape? And I was looking around at my punches, and I found the Vase Builder Punch. And I thought that this little part of the flower, if I cut the little top of the flower off and just use the bell part, that that worked. And so that's what I've been doing. So we're going to punch two of those out. And one more. Oops. Okay, so that out of the way. That's one thing, those builder punches make lots of pieces when you punch them. So you can see I've got a little, too little tulip looking foil pieces. So I am just going to cut the right across that kind of bend. And there we go. We have our ear pieces for the stethoscope. Yay. You know, and if you don't have this, I suppose you can do, you could use, you know, the half inch punch. I'd probably cut it a little smaller than than half. You know, I'd probably cut it like right about here or something. I'm, I don't know, I'd have to play with it a little bit, but there's always something. It's just paper, just play with it. Okay. This U-Pick tool, best thing for picking up little pieces like this. What a mess. It was so easy to make a mess before. So, you can still make a mess, but not not quite as much. Come on. You gonna stay on there? I think. I'm gonna watch too. Yes. Oh shoot, I just on here. I pulled it off with my finger. 
the foil does dent, so you do have to be a little bit careful. I'm going to just spread that around too with my tip of my glue. Maybe that'll help. Just have to let that dry for a second. Oh, shoot. Let's get it there and let it dry. Okay, there we go. If I leave it for a second, it will dry. Okay, so now really we're almost done. All I have to do is attach this and put it on the base, and we are about there. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. I'm just going to put the Tombow on the back. There we go, just like that. And I'm going to use a couple of the mini dimensionals. Oh, you know what? On this one, I, I, I put the dimensional in the wrong place. This one, I had popped the banks up. You know what? I'm not going to tear it off, and I think I'll just like lay it flat. So, if that's the worst thing that happens all day, I'm doing oh, pretty darn good. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I got Mary and Cheryl and... Shirley and Debbie, welcome everybody. So anyway, if you like my video, please comment, or please share it, and comment, share it, and maybe I'll be sending this out to you. So there you go, there's your scrubs for your, your female. And this is the male, and again, this is um, Highland Heather and Rococo Rose. This one is Gray Granite, Knight of Navy, and Poppy Parade. So I hope you like the cards, and I want to thank you all for joining me tonight, and um, hope to see you back next week for another Stampin' with Denise. Take care, everybody. Thanks again. Bye now.